As I prepared my garden at home for planting this spring, I reminisced about the first one that I installed at our home years ago and all the other season's plantings. I've experimented with many things, watering, compost, plant configuration, and the like, just hoping that I could get a better yield compared to the previous year, or consistency at the very least. I'm proud to say that I've become better at this gardening thing and no longer strive for mediocrity. While I was weeding and watering my tomato plants, along with my veggies in the early summer this year, I happened upon a volunteer tomato plant. Obviously, I did not expect it to pop up unannounced or know which type of variety it might be, let alone know if it would even bear fruits worth anything. I did know that it looked like it was relatively healthy, but it might encroach on my larger, more established and planned plants, competing for light, water, and nutrients. I decided to keep it in the same spot for the most part, but transplanted it into a container to give it a chance. After all, I could just move it if it interfered with the other plants, and if it made it, well, then good. If not, well, no big deal. I paid some attention to it, making sure it would continue to grow, although I would notice it looked wilted from time to time. Admittedly, since it was just a volunteer, I wasn't so worried about it since I had several more very healthy plants. And that being said, I put a little bit more of effort into that little plant. I realized, well, more or less accepted really, that it needed to be watered more often than the other plants and that the soil in the container needed to be amended and fortified with nutrients that the other plants received when I planted them. I soon figured out what the tomato plant needed by trial and error, and I noticed that it no longer had the intermittent wilted look as the weeks went by. Even though the weather this summer has been less than stellar and even detrimental at times to my garden, my renewed efforts and attention were the real keys to success for that unexpected volunteer tomato plant. I don't normally speak in garden analogies or similes, and I have had entire conversations and puns though, but reflecting on that little tomato plant helped me renew my outlook on educating our students, our students. I'm not just talking about the ones that we have listed on our personal classroom rosters that we expected to see. As teachers, we encounter kids that come to our classes and our schools unexpectedly. They are the unknowns and backgrounds with futures full of uncertainties. These are usually the students that need the extra attention, effort, and persistence from their teachers, principals, and other adults at the school. They are the volunteer tomatoes, if you will. The biggest and most obvious difference in this is that we can't just ignore these students or let them wilt. See what I did there? These students can achieve and they will achieve if we have given our efforts and attention as well as our combined talents and persistence in helping them. After all, who knows what kinds of fruits they will contribute to our community down the road because we invested ourselves in them. As educators, we need to dig deep, and that's a garden pun for you, and help all students in our schools. Students don't have to be on your roster for you to be their teacher, and we've known that all along.